least I'm afraid to say that life after narcissistic abuse is just a waiting zone for more narcissistic abuse. We don't learn sometimes by mistakes because um, unconscious mistakes are difficult to learn from because they're unconscious, right? So how can we learn something from our unconscious when we're not conscious about it? And this is what's going to happen after narcissistic abuse unless you heal. I don't think people really, really get this. I think that they think that they can outsmart the system gone wrong. So life after a narcissistic relationship can be more of the same. And so I suggest that you don't wait for your next situation, that you go inward instead of going outward for new people and new relationships. You go inward and heal the hole in your soul so that you close up the vulnerabilities, that you become conscious of why you pick who you pick. And you go really deep into a journey. So I'm going to continue along this yellow brick road of what I created here, the journey through the mind map. It's a from through to journey from the wounds of childhood, how you reacted, what you encoded there, and through dismantling this whole, what I call system gone wrong. So we track the chaos of what happened. We track all your defense mechanisms, including your people-pleasing defense mechanisms, which is a very common defense mechanism. Uh, empaths and vulnerable people use to try very hard to please even harder so that this kind of treatment won't happen to them. Mm -hmm.